Hello, thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to have a quick demo on the integration between Vectorworks and JetBuild. We're going to be going over two methods on how you can utilize both programs. The first, we'll start with going from JetBuild to Vectorworks, and then from Vectorworks to JetBuild. Now, the use of JetBuild to Vectorworks also relies on the use of the ConnectCAD module for Vectorworks. So if you have the access to the JetBuilt program and the ConnectCAD module on Vectorworks, you'll be able to make this workflow happen. So let's get started. So first we're going to start in JetBuilt. So I have a basic room set up here with a few devices and a few different quantities, and they're all set to just one room for now. So I'll go to the overview page and I'll do export to Vectorworks and hit OK. And then it is going to generate a CSV worksheet for me. So now I'm going to open up Vectorworks. Now, if you're opening up Vectorworks for the first time, we always recommend when you're opening up and starting a new project in Vectorworks that you create a document using the document template, either the ConnectCAD Imperial or Metric templates. But I already have a template that I created, and this one's just called the Quick Demo for now. So we exported that one worksheet from JetBuilt. So now we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Import, and look for Import Worksheet. Now we're going to find that one CSV file right here, and we're going to click Open. Now what that will do is it will read everything in that CSV that comes from JetBuilt, including the project name, uh, if there's a client name, what room they're in, a system they're part of, the phase. Uh, but what is paramount is that there is a quantity, manufacturer, and model a part of this. So next, you're going to need access to the ConnectCAD uh, module. Now, if you have access to it, you will need to make sure that you have one of three workbases active in your Vectorworks program. That will either be the ConnectCAD workspace, the Design Suite workspace, or the default Spotlight workspace, or any workspace you have that has um, the Spotlight uh, workspace as a default, or any other combination of these other two. Now, under Spotlight, you'll see that all of these ConnectCAD options uh, have um, commands underneath them. So I'm going to go to the ConnectCAD update menu and do create devices from worksheet. Now it's going to look for that worksheet that I imported in. I'm going to hit OK. And what that will do is it's going to ask for column assignments. Now on the left is everything that it reads on that worksheet that it imported in and what it's going to assign everything to. Now once again, the things that are important are room to room, quantity to quantity, manufacturer to make, model to model. Everything else will be a part of a imported device record format that gets created after all the devices are created. Now you can click on this little menu right here and you can change uh, any of these things to be uh, different. Either it would be rack or rack unit or room but with the worksheet coming from um, JetBuilt at this time, it's just best practice just to keep it to room, quantity, make, and model for now. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Next, what will happen is it will read through all of the manufacturer and model items in that worksheet, and it's going to go through the ConnectCAD device database and find uh, either matches or close approximation matches. So. Uh, I'll show you what happens if there is no matches whatsoever after we create some things. But here are some examples of, hey, we found these two items in your worksheet. Do you want to say, all right, this is what you entered and this is what is currently in the device database. And you can actually find some alternative methods if it doesn't quite match what you're looking for. Um, so for instance, this Crown NCDI, uh, it doesn't have maybe the exact make and model, so you can either choose another one or you can let it choose for you. Or if you use uh, select use as is, 
it will create a default basic device for you. So I'm just gonna keep it to these for now and I'll hit okay. And what it will do is it will create all the devices that it saw on your worksheet. And you can see that here is that 55 inch TV that I had, that Yamaha DMV 2000. And then that one crown that I said, okay, well, I'll deal with this one device. It creates that one device because I told it to look for this one. Now, these three basic devices that are created are actually the Shure microphones that I had in my original uh, worksheet, just three of them. And you'll see it'll create three basic devices. Now, from this point on, you would then use ConnectCAD functions to create your own device based off of things that are just basic devices and maybe not inside of the ConnectCAD database. For that workflow, I would suggest using the ConnectCAD Essential Seminar or contacting our customer success team for training and resources. Okay, now let's cover the method of going from Vectorworks to JetBelt. Now, let's say in the hands of one of your project managers or one of your sales accountants, they're working on this project in Vectorworks and they want to take a lot of the information that they've already created in Vectorworks using ConnectCAD and then send this out to JetBuilt. Now, you'll see some devices that I've created using ConnectCAD along with some of the things that we already have pre come over from JetBuilt. So, I'm ready to go and send this over. Now, what I will need to do is first go up to my resource manager. And if you see under the Vectorworks libraries, we have a lot of default content, but under ConnectCAD and samples, there is a file called sample worksheets. Now under the sample worksheets, there is going to be a worksheet called export to JetBuilt. If you take that, right click on it and hit import, you're gonna say, all right, preserve the folder hierarchy or select the destination folder, but make sure it's going to the file that you are currently working on and hit okay. And if I hit this little house icon right here, it'll go back to the active file that I'm working in. And you'll see the export to jet built worksheet is now here. If I then right click and open this up, it will now open up a worksheet of all of the pieces of equipment that are currently in my file with name, their make, their model, any height, weight, power information, and then room locator. Now, if I also put these in a rack and rack location and a rack slot, that information would transfer it as well. But for right now, as you can see, my audio amplifier is in room two, and then my three um, dual mic transmitters are in room two, just for um, so we know later on. So I have this export to jet built. I'm then going to go to file and then I'm going to export this worksheet. I'm going to then say, Hey, I want a comma delimited worksheet, all rows. And then I'm going to hit okay. Now what they'll do is say, all right, ask me to save it to somewhere. And then once it's done exporting, I should now get, because it opens up automatically in Excel, this is what Excel will then draw as um, that uh, sheet. Now, one thing to be aware of is once you get this sheet, you're going to have to delete this one row that says equipment, because that is just a row that automatically gets generated via Vectorworks and ConnectCAD. In order for JetBuilt to see the information, you're going to have to delete that one row. So now I've deleted that row and I'll hit save. I'm just gonna close this document and now I'm going to hide Vectorworks and I'm gonna go back into JetBuilt. Now I'm gonna go back into JetBuilt and I'm going to actually go into a project that I did for Vectorworks to JetBuilt. Now this Though it says there is a room one that is just the default room, so there is nothing in this project whatsoever. So now I'm going to import from Vectorworks. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one file that I saw, that export to JetBuilt CSV, and I'll hit open and hit import. Now, 
It'll take a moment while it imports everything in. Okay, so everything got brought into the JetBuilt project from my CSV. And as you can see, that when it selects all rooms, you'll see all the information. But you notice how before I pointed out that room one might have certain pieces of equipment. And I set out that room two to have certain pieces of equipment. And you now see that they've separated themselves out. So as well as if there are any close matches in the naming structure, JetPilt will actually suss out those naming structures and actually pull your internal price information or anything closely re related to whatever JetBuilt has in it. So this is a great way to harness both sort of workflows in tandem with each other. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was insightful for you. If you have any questions about JetBuilt side of things, please feel free to reach out to JetBuilt. If you have any Vectorworks questions, please feel free to out reach out to Vectorworks and the customer success team. You can also go on to Vectorworks University for any of our latest demos and webinar content. Thank you.